All right, we now have taken a look at uh, the basic Joomla program, the back end, how to control it, how to add some content. In this lesson, we're going to take a look at extensions, how to find extensions, how to install extensions and plug them into your Joomla program, and the types of improvements that you can see uh, as a result of adding this new functionality through uh, third-party extensions. Uh, one of the best ways to find uh, good extensions is to go to the Joomla site itself. Go up to your Google and just type in Joomla. And uh, you'll notice the one at the very top there is the Joomla.org site. And one of the options there is to go to extensions. Click on that. And this will bring you to a listing of the most popular extensions that plug into Joomla. And here you can uh, look under categories uh, or you can use the search tool there to type in some keywords that might bring you to the type of extension that you're looking for. Uh, one of the uh, extensions that I would like to show you uh, that's good to have in your toolbox and your toolkit is uh, a good third-party text editor. And uh, probably the one of the most popular, one of the most functional, is the JC editor. One of the things I like about uh, checking out extensions in the Joomla directory is that uh, once you click on it, uh, you're brought to not only more detail about the extension and how to get to the website to do the download, but also it uh, shows a list of reviews of what other people are saying about the extension so that very quickly you can get a good feel for whether or not the extension is going to work for you, what kind of problems people are finding uh, with it. And so that can be very helpful as you decide whether or not to install a uh, extension. Once you've decided on an extension that you would like, you can go to the uh, website of the creator of the extension and you can find out whether it's going to be a free one or not. Some of the extensions out there are completely free for use and others require that you uh, pay to license the uh, extension in your website. And as we take a look at their website we see that indeed this extension is free which is great especially uh, given that it has so much functionality. And you'll, you'll probably notice this uh, happening at uh, most all of the places that offer Joomla extensions. You'll be given an option as to which version you want this extension to plug into. And it's important to get the version that matches the uh, version that you use. And since we downloaded the latest version, 2.5 something, uh, we'll go with that. And uh, we recognize that uh, within a few months, uh, 3.0 will probably be out and that is the one if you're if you're uh, working with 3.0 you'll want to get extensions for 3.0 okay and we can hit the download button for this text editor hit save okay and this will be saved to the download area of your computer now uh, since you'll probably be downloading a lot of extensions, it's probably a good idea to create a folder on your uh, computer somewhere to hold all of these extensions. So let's do that. Okay, maybe I'll put it in F, create new folder. Then open up the folder where your downloads go to. Uh, if you're on Windows and you haven't uh, made any changes to this, it's probably under C, Users, and then Your User, and then Downloads, and that's where it has shown up. Drop it into our new Joomla 2.5 folder, and there it will be uh, easy to access and ready to upload and install into our Joomla program. Maybe just before we... Uh, fire up our, our Joomla. Let's go after one more extension, uh, a really popular one for Joomla. Let's go back to uh, the Joomla and uh, let's maybe uh, first of all go up to all categories, click on that and then 
scroll down and look at uh, popular extensions. What are the most favorite extensions that people are getting? Well, well we noticed right away that the editor that we just downloaded uh, is at the very top of the list. So that's a confirmation that uh, that's a popular one. Now let's scroll down and see what else uh, people like. All videos. I've used this uh, a lot. Uh, it's a good one to download. We might as well go ahead and grab that. And this allows you to play videos either uh, link to them, uh, link to videos that you might already have up on YouTube or other sites, um, or a, a way to play them directly from your own server. So it's a good good uh, tool to have in your toolbox. Let's grab that one. And uh, right away you might think, oh, but this one costs. No, they're advertising uh, uh, an extension called uh, Front Page Slideshow, which is actually a great extension as well. We might... Uh, do a tutorial on that one and show you how that one works. It's it's really worth the uh, 30 bucks or so that they charge. The one we want is called All Videos and we want to get make sure we get the 2.5 version not the 1.5 version so click on the right one and uh, this one is free. So let's save that one. And while we're at it let's also get the K2 extension package. That's a, a really popular one that really uh, provides a lot of functionality to your Joomla engine. So let's grab that one as well. It is also free. All right, now they're uh, downloaded. Let's maybe bring them. Let's bring them over to our Joomla folder that we created. I believe that was on the F drive. Joomla 2.5, and let's just drag and drop those from our download area into our folder so we know where to find those easily when we are in the back end of Joomla. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's fire up our uh, control panel. And so just go to your browser and type in your domain name again. slash administrator and I believe mine will work now I think my domain is finally resolving and sure enough here we go so I need to type in I believe mine is video producer yeah looks like that password will work and we are in all right, now how do we add these new plugins to our Joomla website? Go up to Extensions, or there's probably a main icon. Yes, here, Extension Manager. You can just click on that lightning bolt. And this brings you to a panel where, by using the Browse button, uh, you can access the hard drives of your computer. Go to the folder where you saved those extensions and uh, upload them one by one. You can't uh, grab all three. Just upload them one by one. Let's start with the uh, text editor. And uh, the way Joomla is designed, uh, in most cases, you can just bring in the zipped folder and uh, Joomla will install it from the zipped folder. Uh, if, a vendor, if a vendor wants you to unzip a folder, before you install it uh, in Joomla, they usually place that right in the file name. They'll, they'll uh, have it uh, say something like unzip first and then the name of the file uh, included right in the file name itself. So uh, unless you see that unzip first uh, or read some instructions on the vendor's website about how to install that say you should unzip it first, just go ahead with the zipped files when you're installing extensions to Joomla. So let's just double click on that. It brings it into our little window here and we're ready to upload and install our text editor. And most vendors will provide a little uh, window of messages here telling you that uh, the editor or the extension uh, was installed correctly and everything is good to go. So just uh, Take a quick look at that and make sure everything installed properly and then you're ready to install your next uh, extension, your next plugin. So go down uh, to your browse button again and go after the next one. We'll go after K2 next. 
double click on that it comes into your little window there do upload and install and that should bring in k2 and once again we have a nice little confirmation window here that all of the k2 elements have been installed correctly so that's nice let's go after the last one hit browse again and double click on the uh, all videos package and do upload and install for that and up here we see a little message saying installation plugin was successful so we are good to go and are able to start working with these uh, new extensions to our uh, Joomla program. All right, uh, now that uh, your extensions are installed, uh, what to do next? Well, um, we could first of all maybe go up and check in the components area to see if our extensions have shown up here. Sometimes the more sophisticated the um, extension, um, the more likely it is going to be that you'll have a, a panel, a more kind of a control panel just for the extension showing up under components. And in this case, we have one showing up for our JC editor and it has a little control panel that we can work with. And uh, also K2 shows up here under components with uh, a variety of uh, options that you can choose there. All videos uh, apparently does not show up under components and so we should go searching for it maybe under the extensions menu option and uh, first of all let's look in module manager an extension can either be a module or it can be a plugin and uh, so let's check module first and we see that the K2 uh, extension shows up uh, in the modules and while we're here, let's maybe just turn on um, content, K2 content, because maybe in this tutorial we'll do a little demonstration of that. You can, uh, right now, you see the red area. It means that the, the extension, even though it has been plugged into Joomla, it's not published or it's not uh, going to work. In order to uh, get the extension to actually be functional and working with your Joomla program, you need to uh, publish it or just click on it uh, once and it will change from unpublished to published. All right, and now K2 content shows up with a green check mark and that means it will work, it's ready to go. All right, as we scroll down here, I don't see all videos showing up. It must be a plugin. Let's go back to extensions and look under plugin manager. Yes, and here we see it showing up here, uh, all videos by Joomla Works, and currently it is unpublished. Let's check that. Enable plugin. And now it has a green check mark, so we know it's working. Let's check, make sure our editor is uh, published. The one that we brought in is JCE Editor, and it does have a green check mark, so we're good to go on that. Uh, maybe the first thing we'll do then now that we've found all of our extensions, let's go uh, over to the, our menu and under Site, choose Global Configuration. And let's change our default editor from the tiny MCE editor that came with Joomla. Let's, from the drop-down menu, choose the new editor that we just brought in, JCE and then save that, save and close. And now when we go into Article Manager or add a new article, we'll see that uh, now the editor that uh, shows up in our Article Manager is a lot more functional. It has a lot more capability than the default one that came with Joomla. So let's maybe go ahead and use this and uh, create an article for our website. All right, uh, so I'll go to my word processor where I've created the article, do copy, and then bring it over into our editor. Copy, paste. Okay, looks like our justification is to the center. Let's select all of that uh, again. Control A, select all of the text, and then do a left justification. 
And you'll see, if you're familiar with word processing at all, you'll see that you have all of your basic tools now uh, with the uh, JCE editor, and uh, things will be a lot easier to work with. All right, let's give the article a title. And once again, uh, Joomla will provide the alias for us. We can leave it for now at sample data. Articles, I think everything is good. Well, no, let's um, add uh, uh, a photograph here, and we'll show you that using our new editor, it's a lot easier to work with images right from your hard drive. So position your cursor where you want to add the image. And in this case, I believe I want to place it right after the heading here. So let's put our cursor in between the two there. And now let's go to the icon of the, looks like a, I don't know, an ocean scene there or something. I click on that, and that will bring us to a panel that will allow us to upload images from our hard drive. And how you do that is right uh, here in the center section where you see the image with the up arrow. That allows you to go to the hard drives of your computer and search for an image that you want to include. Now, uh, looks like uh, the latest version of this software allows you to do a drag and drop. So you could try that uh, if you want. You could open up, um, you know, the folder on your on your computer, find the image, and drag and drop it there. But it also gives you the functionality of actually browsing your hard drives for the images that you want to use. And that uh, opens up a Windows Explorer, and then you can navigate uh, to the folder that contains the image that you want to use. And here it is here. And once the uh, file shows up here in your upload section, you're ready to hit upload. And that'll bring it over to the server on your host. When you see the green check mark, you're good to go. And it will show up now in uh, the image manager of uh, this JCE editor. And now to include it into your article, find the image showing up over in the center panel. It's usually highlighted, so it's darker with the dark uh, gray image. Double click on that, and you'll see that it now shows up here in properties. And uh, it's a good idea to get into the habit of adding an, uh, an appropriate alternate text. This is for several reasons. Uh, one is for the visually impaired. They'll be able to get an idea of what that image is all about if you put in a text here. They'll hear a voice, a computer voice, telling them what this, tech, uh, what this picture is all about. In this case, we'll just uh, once again say uh, Adra provides hope. And the second reason it's very good to uh, always include the alternate text uh, is that it helps search engines identify the content of your page and uh, provide appropriate uh, search engine results uh, in as people try and find y the information about your article on, uh, a, say, a Google search. Um, the more times you can refer to the types of information that you have uh, on your page, the more likely you'll get a good ranking in Google. So if you want people to find you, uh, always remember to add the alternate text. All right, now this little uh, tool also provides you the option of uh, placing the image in your article in a way that the text will flow around the image. If we were to just go ahead and insert it now, the image would simply appear. Let's maybe open up the, our window again here scroll down a little bit and then open up our window. So if you just uh, by default uh, insert it into your article, it's going to go to the very left edge and the text is not going to flow around your image. And that is probably perfectly fine uh, for a lot of cases for you to do it that way. And if you want to have it uh, centered in your page, uh, you can simply go ahead and select the image so you get the little border around it and then go to your align function at the very top of your t of your editor and that will bring the picture into the center which is fine for a lot of cases but if you should want to have the text flowing around your image 
then uh, just uh, you can go back and at any time edit how the picture appears on the page by selecting it and then going back to the image editor and uh, now you're ready to make some changes here under alignment currently it's not set to anything but if you want to you can uh, send it to the left which is what it is now except that this time we can add a little bit of a margin to the top or to the left or right let's say five pixels and by default it's going to now give us five pixels at the top bottom and left and right if you want to you could uncheck the equal values and change uh, maybe at the top you want 10 pixels and at the left only five pixels but at the right you also want 10 pixels so you can be very uh, deliberate about how much spacing you put between your image and your text and you can get a little preview of what's going to happen over here in the corner and so let's give that a try uh, hit uh, update and now we see our text is flowing around the image we can uh, go in and maybe bring this down a little bit now even though this is a what you see is what you get type of editor it's not going to always look exactly like this when you bring it into your page be because it's going to be somewhat dependent on the width of the column that your article is going to go into and so in some cases depending on the width of the module that you bring this article into some of this text is going to end up down below the image okay maybe just show you a couple more things about this beautiful editor let's say we want to change the color of our title well first of all let's maybe make our title just a little bit bigger uh, we can uh, with this editor change our font size just like in word processing and let's say we want to uh, change the color we can just highlight the section that we want to change and go up to select text color and choose a different color and there we have very quickly uh, made a nice beautiful article with a nice header and nice color now if you're not uh, completely satisfied with the default uh, colors that show up here you can uh, by going to more colors you can choose from the available uh, millions of colors that are available from this uh, color choosing picking system okay well let's maybe uh, see how this looks on our website let's first of all uh, save our article save and close we'll go to a menu and create a new menu item for this this time we'll go directly to top and add a new menu and once again this time we'll just select the uh, single article as we develop our uh, website more and more of course we'll uh, develop more sophisticated uh, menu systems but for the purposes of this tutorial we'll just choose a single article again and then we'll go over here and select the article that we just made ADRA provides hope and let's give our our new menu item a title let's call it sample projects and I think for the purposes of this example we're done so we can do a save and close and then go to our site let's go and view our site and see if it shows up here it is sample projects and when we click on it we come to our article now as we mentioned because uh, of the width of this column uh, even though we asked the text to show up to the side here, there's no room for the text here, so it automatically brings it down below the image, which is fine. Now we see we seem to have a little problem here with the spacing of our title. Let's go back to our article manager and see if we can't clean that up. Yes, as we look at this, we see that um, the justification uh, has been aligned full uh, for this title let's change that and let's highlight that and this time just choose uh, align left and then do our save this time we won't close the article in case we need to quickly come back to it and now we can go 
to our site, refresh our screen, and that should clean up the issue. Let's go back to our uh, article. All right, yeah, it looks like uh, when we first brought this article in, when we thought we were left justifying it, we were using the align full. And uh, so we fixed that now for the uh, text as well, and it's looking better. Now, uh, because this is a sample video project, we also want to be able to show our clients, our potential clients, a, a video, a sample video of this project. And so this is uh, where we can use the All Videos extension plugin that we uh, got from Joomla Works. And uh, I've gone ahead and already added the video tag. I've uh, uploaded the video to the server using an FTP program. And uh, if you're trying out all videos and you're wondering, well, what is this, this funny code looking stuff? Um, all videos allows you to uh, do a variety of things to play video. Uh, for example, they have worked it out so that you can uh, maybe just close out of this window here and go to the plugin itself as we're talking about this plugin manager and go to all videos by Joomla Works. And uh, for more details uh, and a little bit of a, a guide or, or a documentation for all videos, you can click right within the uh, plugin extension itself, you can click on all videos documentation. That'll bring you to their website for more information and documentation on how their little plugin works. And here you can find out uh, the different ways that you can use the plugin. For example, if you wanted to avoid using video on your server itself from your host, uh, let's say your host doesn't stream video, but you still want to use video in your website. Well, well what you could do is upload your video to a video sharing site like um, YouTube, for example, or Vimo, and let them host the video for you and that way you don't have to worry about whether or not your host can stream video or can or whether your bandwidth pipeline is large enough to stream video you can simply let uh, YouTube or Vimo uh, be the one to provide the video to your potential clients and, and then using the documentation here from all videos you can learn uh, what kind of tag to put in your article in order to display your video based on how you're wanting to present it. Uh, in my case, I've uploaded the video to my server and by following the documentation from all videos and uh, making a few settings here in the under basic options in the plugin as to the where my video is located and to the size of the videos that I'm playing, uh, I am now able to simply go to my article let's close out of here go back to our article open up our article add provides hope and you'll see down at the bottom of my article i have a very small tag it says uh, mp4 and then the name of my video which is simply cd and then a close tag and that's all we need to put in our article and it will alert uh, Joomla to go after the extension, the all videos extension, and uh, take this information and play my video. So let's uh, see if this works. Let's close out of this, save and close, and let's go to our website. Refresh our screen. And now as we scroll down, we see that there is a video window, a video player, ready to display our sample project. Let's play the video and see if it works. We'll go through a little buffering there for uh, three or four seconds, five seconds, and should start to play the video. So that gives you uh, an idea of what is possible even with free extensions in Joomla. And uh, our tutorial is running a little bit long. I wanted to uh, also show you the, the K2 uh, extension. Uh, but as I took a quick look at that myself, 
I've realized that they have added a lot of functionality to their uh, program since the last time I worked with it, and uh, even to the point where, where you can create your articles within the K2 system. Let's just, for example, add a new article here quickly, or at least take a look at the uh, panel here. And now, notice that in addition to our wonderful new text editor from JCE, we also have the capability of not only bringing in images, but also uh, bringing in video into our article using the K2 system. And this is all new uh, to K2, at least uh, since the last time I looked at K2. This is new. I think what I'll do is, uh, is do some experimenting with the new features of K2 before we present uh, that and, uh, and get back to you on, on the capabilities of K2. It looks great to me. I think uh, I'm going to enjoy working with K2. Well, I think that does it for our tutorial on extensions. I believe that should give you a great idea of how you can add some great functionality to the uh, Joomla system by going to Joomla and browsing through the many thousands of extensions that are available and picking the ones that uh, you'll be able to use for your website.